Today's lesson is called Plus Talk, Going to the Library. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today we're going to talk about going to the library. If、uh, you want to go to the library, of course you can borrow books, or you can hang out there and read newspapers or magazines. But again, if you want to check out a book or other items, you're going to need a library card, and in order to get one, you need to apply for that library card. Yeah, let's say you you want to learn how to drive. You have to be over the age of sixteen. You have to have access to a car, and then you have to get a driver's license. That's a document, okay? That the government gives you. It kind of looks like a card, but because you have that license, you're now legally allowed to drive. Now the same thing goes for a library card. If you go to a library. They'll give you a library card. You fill out an application form. More on that later, and then they give you a card. And now you're allowed to use that library. You can check books out and stuff like that. So today, yes, we are going to be applying for a library card. That's what we're going to do in the first half of today's lesson. Then we'll be placing a hold. That will be the second part. But hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead. And start reading from part one of this month's Plus Talk lesson. Going to the library. It's called applying for a library card. And yeah, we'll get started on that right after this. Going to the library. One applying for a library card. Thomas is at the local public library. He's speaking to the librarian about applying for a library card. Hi. I'm interested in applying for a library card. Sure, just fill out this application form. I'll also need to see a photo ID with your current address. How long will it take for the card to be ready? It'll just be a few minutes. Great, I was expecting it to take a few days. By the way, can I borrow e-books with my card? Of course. When your card's ready, I'll show you how to download books from our online database. 大家好，第一部分我们看到单字 application 这个字是名词，指书面申请、申请表或应用程式。作词意时常简称为 app。例如 ，His application to study at the university was rejected。他申请就读那所大学遭到了拒绝。或是 ，This new application makes it easy to download music videos。这款新的应用程式让人轻松下载音乐影片。另外，这个字也可以指应用、用途。举例来说 ，medicine is only one application of this plant。入药只是这种植物的应用方法之一。或是 ，this multi-use tool has many different applications。这个多功能的工具有许多不同用途。再来，我们看到名词 e-book， 意思是电子书。e 为 electronic 的缩写。例如 ，the company publishes a wide range of e-books。该公司出版各式各样的电子书，或是 Lena bought an e-book reader last month. Lena 上个月买了一个电子书阅读器。接着，我们看到一个单字 download， 这个字是动词，意思是电脑下载。我们可以说 Be careful what you download, or your computer could end up with a serious virus. 注意你下载的东西，不然你的电脑可能会严重中毒。另外，补充反义词 upload。U P L O A D, upload, 意思是电脑上传。举例来说 ，I've uploaded all of the pictures to the cloud. 我已经把所有的照片上传到云端。再来，我们看到名词 database， 意思是资料库。举例来说 ，Doris checked the company database to see if the man was already a client. Doris 查询公司的资料库，确认此人是否为公司的旧客户。Okay, so remember when you go to the library, there are numerous things you can do. But before you can do anything, 
You need to apply for a library card. So that's the verb here to apply for something. It's usually part of that verb phrase. That means you fill out some kind of document with information in order to get that thing. Like Jeff mentioned earlier, if you want a driver's license, you're going to need to apply for a driver's license. You probably need to take a driving test as well. But again, here, if you want a library card, you need to go through some kind of procedure. Procedure to get one. There you go. Let's get started here. We've got Thomas and a librarian in this part of our dialogue. Here, Thomas is at the local public library. He's speaking to the librarian about applying for a library card. Now, public libraries are great. They're awesome. They're all over Taiwan. Anyone can go in, and if you apply for a library card, you can get a library card. Now, there are some. Private libraries. I have a friend here in Taipei who has a very big library, and it's all his own stuff in there. He owns all those books. So if I asked him, he might lend one of those books to me. But that's actually okay. That's a private library there. Now there are some kind of libraries too that are kind of half public and half private. I know when I was going to Chinese school at Shida, they allowed me to have a library card there at Shida. But if I wasn't a student there, I wouldn't have that same access to that library. Indeed. So of course you need to ask the individual libraries about their rules and their regulations and stuff like that. So this, of course, is a local public library. So if you're a resident of that town or of that area, you should be able to get a library card. But you can't just walk in there and say, "Give me a library card." No, you've got to apply for it. You need to provide them with some information. Now Thomas begins the conversation. He says, "Hi, I'm interested in applying for a library card. That's what you need to do to get a library card. You need to apply for that library card." And the librarian, the person who works in the library, says, "Sure." And that person takes out the form and says, "Just fill out this application form." So apply for application. That's the noun here. Especially if it's a document, it's an application form that you fill out. Yeah, when I was 18 years old, I applied to a college, and luckily. I got in. I had to fill out all sorts of forms and stuff like that. But after I did that and submitted those forms properly, I got in. Yay! Yes, like Roger said, the verb is apply. The noun is application. So you're going to have to fill out an application form. That's what the librarian says. And then the librarian also says this: I'll also need to see a photo ID with your current address. We have to confirm that you are who you say you are, and we also have to know where you live. Again, if we need to contact you about you returning books or something like that, we're going to need that. Information. I've、uh, heard people say fill in an application form, but to me that doesn't quite sound right. To me, I would fill out the application form. If you're taking a test or something, you fill in the little circles with your answer. You fill those in, but the application form you fill it out. And of course, they also need a photo ID, which could be your driver's license, your national health certificate card, or whatever. That should do the trick. And Thomas says, as he's filling out the form, "How long will it take for the card to be ready?" Okay, so yes,、yeah, sometimes it does require some time for you to actually get your card. Maybe he's in a hurry to check out a book, so he wants to know how much time is required. How long will it take for me to get the card? After I fill out the application form, and after I turn it in to you. By the way, with licenses and library cards like that, sometimes they'll give you a piece of paper after you've applied. Okay, and you can use that temporarily while they actually make your license for you and then send it to you. In the mail. So here, Thomas might not even need that card quite yet. He could probably fill out the application and start using the library right away. Anyways, Thomas he fills out the form. He asks that question, and then he takes his ID from his wallet and gives it to the librarian. And the librarian has some good news. The librarian says it'll just be a few minutes. I.e. Wow! Soon Thomas can be using the library. 
Exactly. These processes、uh, take much faster these days. So yeah, it'll just be a few minutes. He can have his library card very soon, and can be using it in just a matter of minutes. And Thomas says, "Great. I was expecting it to take a few days. Like I said, sometimes these things take a few days." By the way, can I borrow e-books with my card? Now, in the old days, of course, you just checked out standard books that you could hold in your hands. But nowadays, of course, we've got e-books, which are electronic books that you can probably read on your device, whether it be your smartphone or your tablet computer, even your laptop. And you might even have an e-reader, like、uh, the Kindle and the Nobo, or whatever. Those are different kinds of e-reader that are available. Yeah, e-books are great. They're very convenient. Anyways, next the librarian says, "Of course, of course, you can borrow e-books with your card." And then the librarian says, "When your card's ready, I'll show you how to download books from our online database or database." Anyways, here we have the word. Download to talk about. Download is the opposite of upload. Now, usually we as consumers we do a lot of downloading. Let's say that means you take something from the internet, okay, and you bring that thing onto your computer. Now, you can't download things from other places. Let's say from another computer. But usually, when we're downloading stuff, we're getting on the internet and we're copying something and bringing that. Onto our computer. Now, sometimes people do upload things, and that's the exact opposite. You take something from your computer, you copy it, then you put that copy on to the internet. Download versus upload. And they, of course, have the online database, which means information that's on the internet or in their computer at the library, and you can use the internet to access that information. Of course. It's online. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in today's lesson. Let's、uh, take a break right now and move on to the next part: placing a hold. If you want to make a reservation for a book. Two, placing a hold. Stella asks the librarian if she can place a hold on a book. The book I wanted to borrow has been checked out, so I'd like to place a hold on it. Certainly. Holds are usually done through our computer reservation system. Let me show you. First, type in the title and author of the book you want. Okay, and then click the Request Item button and complete the online hold form. You'll receive an email when the book's been returned. Do I pick up the book here? Yes, and remember that we can put it on hold for you for up to five days. Got it. Thanks. Reservation. I called the restaurant and made a reservation for 7:30 tonight. 我打去餐厅预订今晚七点半的位置。另外，这个字还可以指保留意见、意义，多为复数型。像是 We have reservations about approving your plan. 对于通过你的计划案，我们有所保留。或是 Even though someone agrees, it doesn't mean they don't have reservations. 即便有人同意，也不代表他们没有异议。All right, folks, we're going to place a hold right now. Well. We won't be doing that. Someone named Stella will be doing that. Now, Stella asks the librarian if she can place a hold on a book. Yep, place a hold or make a reservation. And here, Stella says the book I wanted to borrow has been checked out. She checked the card catalog, which is computerized now, and went to the shelf and saw that it was checked out. Or even on the computer, there it probably told her that don't waste your time going to the shelf to look for it because somebody has already checked it out. So she's talking to the librarian, and she'd like to place a hold on that book when the person who has checked it out. Returns that book. She'd like to be the next in line to check that book out. She wants to place a hold on that book. Yeah, back in the day, I used to go to the library at my university quite often. Okay, and there was this book that I wanted to check out, and it was always out. 
and then it would come back in, and then someone else would check it out. I would always miss my chance. And then one day the librarian told me, what are you talking about you missed your chance? Why don't you just put a hold on that item when it comes back in? When someone returns it, we'll put it aside for you so the next time you come to the library, you don't have to search the shelves there and then be disappointed by not finding that book again. No, we'll have it right for you here at the counter. We'll hold it for you. All you have to do is place a hold on that particular book, that particular item. Now, Stella says the book I wanted to borrow has been checked out, so let's go ahead and place a hold on it. And the librarian says, certainly. Holds are usually done through our computer reservation system. Let me show you first. Type in the title and author of the book you want. So there you go. The librarian says, sure, I will show you how to do this. I won't do it myself. The computers handle holds for us now. We have a computer reservation system. Now, here we have the word reservation. Normally, when people are talking about reservations, they're talking about restaurants, but that's not the case here. But yes, if you call up a restaurant and say, please hold a table for me or have a table available for me on Tuesday at 7 p.m., you're making a reservation. You're asking for that table to be reserved for you. Yep, you can reserve a table or you can make a reservation. So here the librarian is telling Stella that she can make a reservation using their computer reservation system. And then the librarian is going to show Stella how to do it. First type in the title and author of the book you want. So let's say you want to borrow Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Well, the author's name is Charles Dickens. You type that in and the title would be Oliver Twist. So Stella types in the information and says, OK, and then what do I do after that? The librarian says, click the request item button and complete the online hold form. There you go. We've got another form before we had an application form. Now we've got an online hold form. Yeah, you'll receive an email, says the librarian, when the book's been returned. So there you go. You place a hold on this item. That particular thing, that reservation, goes into the computer system there, and the computer basically waits. And when that book actually comes back in, it immediately sends you an email. The computer does it automatically. Yep, you'll receive an email, and then you better act fast, or else somebody else might come in and try to get it. But still, you've got five days to pick up the book, as the librarian says after Stella asks, do I pick up the book here? And yes, the librarian says yes, and remember that we can put it on hold for you for up to five days. So you have five days to come in and check out that book again, or else we have to let the next person on the list have the chance to check it out. And yet, when you put a hold on a book, you probably won't be the only person, so I'm imagining that there will be a waiting list. And hopefully, sometimes libraries have several copies of books that are popular. So yeah, be patient. You will have your chance to read the book you want to read. Yes, but we're not going to hold it for you for five years or five months or for five weeks. We're going to hold it for you for five days, and then anybody else can grab that book. The hold no longer lasts after that time. And apparently, Stella understands this. She says, got it. Thanks. All right, folks, with that... This part of this month's Plus Talk Dialogue going to the library is now in the books, and it's time for you all to hear from the Chinese teacher. Hello,同学,大家好,我是Hanny.我们来看今天的文法重点。在课文第二部分的对话里面,Stella问图书馆员能不能预约一本书,他就说, the book I wanted to borrow has been checked out, so I'd like to place a hold on it. 我想借的书被借走了,所以我想要预约这一本书。好,那首先要介绍片语 check out的几种不同用法。第一种可以表达结账离开，像我们在商店、超市的柜台要结账离开，或者是你去旅馆要办理退房手续的时候，就可以用这个片语表达。举例来说。We'd like to check out now, please. 我们现在要办理退房。好，那如果把 check out 合在一起变成一个字 check out。
它是当名词，就可以用来表达结账柜台，或者是在旅馆办理退房手续，或者是指退房时间。好 ，check out 的第二个用法是从图书馆登记借书，就是用课文用法。例如 ，She checked out a book on gardening. 她借了一本跟园艺有关的书籍。第三种用法是在口语中，我们常常会用 check out 来表达瞧一瞧、看一看，像是 Come and check out my new car. 过来看看我买的新车吧。好，第四个用法呢是表达检验、检查。像是 his car has been making strange noises. He's going to have a mechanic check it out. 他的车子一直发出奇怪的声音，他要请修车师傅、修车技师来帮他检查，看看出了什么问题。好，那么另外课文句子有用到 place a hold on something， 也可以说 put a hold on something 来表达预约。那我们顺便补充几个跟名词 hold 相关的片语，好像第一个，你可以用 put 什么什么 on hold 来表达让某人在电话线上等候。那这个片语也可以表达出搁置、暂缓某事情的意思，像是 The manager said that our project will have to be put on hold。经理说我们的专案必须暂缓处理了。好，第二个补充的片语是 take hold， 它有发挥作用的意思，用来表达它某事物的效力啊，或者是影响开始作用。举例来说 ，the medicine began to take hold after a few hours。经过几个小时之后，药物开始发挥药效了。那补充一下，如果是 take hold of， 在后面加上 of， 那则是表达抓住哦，像 take hold of the rope 表示抓住绳子。同学们要特别注意这两个用法差异。第三个是 get hold of， 也有人说 get a hold of。好，当它的受词是事物的时候呢 ，get hold of something 可以表达得到、获得某事物，像是可能得到某个资料等等的。那么当受词是人的话 ，get hold of somebody 表示联络上某人、找到某人。例如 ，I haven't been able to get hold of her， 也可以说 I haven't been able to get a hold of her。我一直联络不上他。好，那么以上今天重点整理，我们来回顾几个单词吧。Application. Ken filled out an application to get a student visa for Poland. Download. You will have to download the software onto your computer before watching the shows. Online. The cafe has received a lot of praise for its cakes in online reviews. Reservation. If we don't want to wait over an hour to get a table, we'd better make a dinner reservation in advance. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See you, See you next time. time.